Then there was Songbird. Last of the Breed in 2007. It's Magic in October of 2007. Moment of Forever was released in 2008. Willie and the Wheel. Oh, wow. With a sleep at the wheel. When I was doing my week of Texas Swing, I had heard that Willie had done some stuff with the uh, with sleep at the wheel. I gotta find the time to listen to that. That's gotta be fun. Yeah, let's see what that's about. The album was released February 3rd, 2009 on the Bizmu record label and was nominated for a Grammy for Best Americana Album. 13 tracks on the album. Several of those tracks were credited as traditional songs. The great Ray Benson of Asleep at the Wheel. Here's the album cover. Produced by Ray Benson. American Classic, classic, uh, released um, in 2009. Country Music in 2010. Remember Me, Volume 1. 2011, he wrote. In 2012, Let's Face the Music and Dance. 2013, To All the Girls. To All the Girls I've Loved Before, yeah. 2013, Band of Brothers came in 2014. December Day, Willie Stash, Volume 1. Willie Stash, what could he be talking about? Django and Jimmy was released in 2015. Summertime, Willie Nelson sings Gershwin. Really? Got to click on that one. So it's a 64 studio album. After being awarded the Gershwin Prize by the Library of Congress, Nelson recorded a set of pop standards written by George and Ira Gershwin. The recording of the album was produced by Buddy Cannon and Matt Rawlings. It includes the duets, let's call the whole thing off. Just not feeling this. There was a mistake. Let's just call the whole thing off. The recording of the album was produced by Buddy Cannon and Matt Rawlings. Cindy Lauper. Let's call the whole thing off with Cindy Lauper, Willie Nelson, and Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, Cindy Lauper. I'm listening to that. And Cheryl Crow, Willie Nelson and Cheryl Crow, Embraceable You. Wow. To select the songs for the album, uh, Willie was inspired by Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra's recordings of Gershwin's songs. Very cool. Very cool. 